Inducted into the hall this year in the contract personnel category is June Ivory. June Bull Ivory of Pampa, Texas worked tirelessly for many years to make the sport of rodeo bigger and better. Rodeo secretary, timer, media relations and grand entries, June did it all. She could be as tough as nails with a heart of gold. She was on hand to unload the first horse at the first 1959 NFR in Dallas. She helped design the secretary forms and judges sheets for the Rodeo Cowboys Association and organized the first rodeo secretary school. June had a flair for color and flashy attire and often carried the American flag during the opening ceremonies of some of rodeo's biggest events. She was the first woman Justin ever selected to appear in an advertisement. As a teenager, she worked for the prominent rodeo contractor Everett Coburn and the World Championship Rodeo Company. June had a fantastic memory for who might have tied a calf or ridden someone's best bucking horse or bull. Her straightforward and no-nonsense ways landed her jobs with all of the big-name stock contractors. June says, one of the hardest rodeos I ever secretaried was the 1968 Hemisphere Texas Youth Rodeo in San Antonio. We had 1,403 entries, two go-rounds, and a finals in all events. The committee had told the parents that each kid would be up at least once during a performance. I'm proud to say that all kids were treated accordingly and no one was left out. In 1954, June joined the RCA and also met and married Buster Ivory, a well-known professional rodeo contestant. Buster and June became like peanut butter and jelly. They worked tirelessly to promote the sport of rodeo. Buster and June worked on the research to produce a book on the history of rodeo stock contractors. Again, they worked tirelessly, and on December 6, 1997, the book was unveiled at the Orleans Hotel in Las Vegas during the National Finals Rodeo. If there ever was a vote taken for the true Miss Rodeo America, June Bull Ivory would surely be one of the top nominees. Sometimes outspoken and seeming to be harsh, she had another side that seemed to be like Mother Teresa. June has a heart as big as her home state of Texas and is a proud Texan through and through. June says, all I ever wanted to be was a rodeo glamour gal and a rodeo secretary. We're happy to make those dreams come true and induct June Ivory into the Pro Rodeo Hall of Fame.